in this tutorial we will create this 3d object using commands that we learn in previous tutorials at first switch to 3d modeling by clicking on this button here and click on 3d modeling then click on unsaved view select sc isometric then give ucs icon command ucs icon enter no origin then click here and select shaded with edges then at first we will create this box of 72 145 and 25 height click on box then specify first corner then take the cursor away then specify the width give the 72 then press tab then give length of 145 enter give the direction where you want to go on the upper side and give the height of 25 then next will be to create this portion copy this edge at a distance of 24 then again on 24 and the length of this line is 50 click here on arrow near the extract edges and select copy edges click on this edge enter give the base point give the direction make ortho on give direction and give the length of 24 Again click on copy, select this edge, enter, give the base point, give the direction, give the distance of 48, enter. Then again copy, select this edge, enter, give the base point, give the direction and give the distance of 50, enter. Then exit, exit. Click here on the arrow near the circle and select two point circle and take this point, first point and second point. Then trim the unwanted edges, give the trim command, trim, enter, then enter, then click on the object to trim, enter. Then cut this shape using press pull command, click on press pull, select the portion, give the direction below and click there and escape. Then click on 2D wireframe, select these edges, unwanted edges and erase them. enter again click here on shaded with edges then next is this portion of 36 width and height is 90 minus 25 click on copy edges select this edge enter give the base point give the direction copy it at the distance of 36 escape then click on press full select this portion give the height of 90 minus 25 that is 65 enter then escape then next is this line is at a distance of 30 from bottom and this line is at a distance of 24 again copy edge select this bottom edge enter base point direction of 30 enter again copy select this edge enter base point direction and distance of 24 again copy then the center point is at a distance of 42 plus 6 that is 48 select this edge enter give the base point give the direction give the distance of 48 then click on exit then here is the circular portion of radius 30 to create that click on this arrow below the box and select cylinder Give the center point here at the midpoint and give the radius of 30. Enter. Then change the direction. Click on this axis endpoint. Change the direction to go on this side and give the depth of 12. Enter. This portion is a hole. Subtract it. Click on this solid subtract. Select solids to subtract from. Click on this solid. Enter. Then select solid to subtract this one. Enter. Then erase this line. E, enter select the line then this portion you can remove using press pull click on press pull select this portion and click on multiple select this other portion also enter give the direction and give the distance of 12 escape then erase this line erase select these two lines enter then next is this hole of 24 diameter now this hole is on this vertical plane 
for that we will have to change the plane to change the plane click here on the world and select the front plane now xy is aligned with this surface make the grid off then create one circle click on the circle then click on the center point and give the radius of 12 enter then to create the hole use the press pull command click on press pull select inside the circle give the direction and click there and escape then next will be this bottom portion now this is of 6 height and 72 width and 50 depth again click on this copy edges select the bottom edge enter give the base point give the direction vertical direction give the distance of 6 again copy select this vertical edge enter give the base point give the direction distance of 72 then exit exit then to cut it use the press pull click on press pull select this portion then give the direction and then give the depth of 50 escape then remove these lines give the e enter select these lines to be removed enter then next will be to give the dimensions at first we will give dimension on this surface to switch to this surface click here and select face then select this face and enter then click on annotate and select the dimension linear give the first point give the second point give the location to increase the size of the dimension click here dimension style modify then fit increase scale here suppose we will make it 15 then in the text portion we will take it above and here ISO standard and then in fit tick here draw dimension line between extension line then ok then close then we don't want four zeros again click here on dimension style modify primary units make the precision to single zero ok close then next will be this dimension again linear first point second point location then this length of 50 again linear dimension give the first point click on this end point give the location then next will be we will give dimension to this portion again click on home then click on face select this face then enter now here these are the dimensions again click on annotate then click on linear dimension then choose the first point choose the second point give the width then again enter select this point this point give the 6 enter select this point this point go down give this dimension again enter this point this point and this dimension again enter from this midpoint to this end point it is 42 again enter this point this point location then next will be this face again click on home then click here and select the face option click on this face enter now it actually got inclined we don't want it inclined we want it vertical we will change this UCS using this three point option click on this three point then give the first point then give x direction on this horizontal point then next is y direction on this vertical line then give the dimension click on annotate linear dimension then give here the width from this point to this point click here now to repeat this command again and again give the multiple command multiple enter then give the name of the command dim linear enter then it will repeat automatically then give the overall dimension here and take here then here is the width zoom it then here is 24 from here to here then here overall height from here to here it is 90 then next is to reduce dimensions 
skip this dimension to be given on this surface for that again we will use three point method to change the UCS click on this three point give this point as a start point this is the X direction and this is the Y direction click on this midpoint then give the radius dimension click on annotate give the radius select this arc and give this radius of 30 make the object snap off so it will give it accurately then next is this diameter give the diameter option click on this circle go inside and click there then next is this width for that again from here choose the face option select this surface enter then again annotate give the dimension linear make the object snap on select this midpoint to this midpoint click on this midpoint then to give the color double click on it and choose the color from here escape thanks for watching we will stop here